Oh, I am so ha oh, I'm so happy I'm knocking over the camera. What's up, guys? Say what's up to me down below. Tell me your scent of the day down below. I am excited. Some people love it. Some people don't like it. Some people think it's not so wonderful. Well, I'm going to tell you what I think today because I paid for this with my own money so I could tell you what I actually think. And if I like it, well, I'm going to tell you I like it. And if I don't like it, well, I'm going to tell you I don't like it because I spent my money on this. But I waited. You know I waited till this came down to at least that 20 something dollar range. When it was in the 40s, like what? I mean, I think I saw this for like $52 when, when it like first came out. Yeah, right, $52. I don't care if this is going to come and wash my car. I ain't paying $52 for a Latafa at this moment, especially one that has the same bottle as a sod and apparently it's more janky like apparently the side bottles better this one's gonna be a little jankier so we'll have to see about all that and you guys already know how i feel about a sod this is another one super super mega hype beast and when i got it and i sprayed it i was like yeah okay it's just a manly cologne but hold on let me give it a slow whiff right now okay it's nice it's got its own vibe that obviously smells like something else that's very popular <laughs> but i think a lot of new frag heads get this and then smell this and go whoa this is pretty strong and spicy. Like, a lot of new frag heads like fresh, clean, blue, aquatic fragrances. Not necessarily something as strong as this, even though this is based off Sauvage Elixir. I think Sauvage Elixir is, uh... A little different, a little bit. This is like 80% Sauvage Elixir to my nose. This isn't all the way there, but all that being said, I have grown to like this very much. But today's not about Assad anymore. It's about Assad Zanzibar. So we'll just see. I just have the bottle here for reference because apparently this bottle's a little jankier. So let's get it open. And thank you to everybody that came out to the first night of Tribe. I mean, the app just got approved yesterday. So to see a couple of you guys come out, I mean, we actually even crashed the app for about 30 minutes last night. My developer was probably super pissed while he was in Catalina trying to have a nice night. And I'm texting him like, uh, we crashed the app, but it got fixed because he's the flipping man. Like I said, he works at Microsoft. So I'm, I'm blessed that he was able to build this for me, but we had a blast. If you guys have iPhone, it's uh, on the App Store now, Android. Coming soon, we're working on it nonstop. I mean, if you guys know how hard we were working on it, how many features we're working on. Oh my God, I, I can't wait to show you guys more, but all right, let's get back. It's just loose in the box right here. What's going on? I mean, come on, just loosen the, but Latafa does, usually does a little better than that. Is this real? Yeah, it is. It's got the hologram and stuff. All right. I mean, I bought this from a legit source. I mean, we're, uh, well, I'm going to make a fake Latafa video. I've been meaning to lately. I got this Mahir Legacy, completely fake, no Latafa logo. It doesn't even say Latafa on it anywhere. I mean, what a joke. So I'm definitely going to be making a watch out for Latafa fakes video, but uh, this, this one's feeling legit. It's just funny that it's jiggling around in the box like that. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. Little Assad Zanzibar. Yeah, it is a little jiggle. Everyone says that, yeah. Yeah, see, this one doesn't jiggle. This one jiggles. <laughs> what is that little jiggle? What? That sounds like a bicycle with, like, a card in it, you know, if you're, like, 700 years old like me. Hear that? Oh, I'm driving down the street. I mean, what a flipping joke that is. Yeah, oh, it's the top. What is this? Yeah, the top is, like, a little janky. This, this little piece of plastic, they didn't secure it properly. That's kind of, that's kind of funny. All right, well, the, the rest of it seems all right. I mean, yeah, these look... Uh, identical? Uh-huh, basically. Well, only time, it's gonna be the first time, another 2024 flipping hype beast. I've either been missing out for a month, I'm not wearing it because I thought it was overpriced, or I waited and I didn't get totally ripped off. So, only time, it's gonna be the first time. Let's go, oh yeah, all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> huh. Well, my first reaction, my, f my first reaction off the first blast was that I like it. Huh, interesting. This has a very, Funny little smell to it. People were saying sunscreen. No, I'm not getting sunscreen. I'm getting like a like a oat milk or something like that. Like what? Hold on. I I'm looking through my collection. Okay, you know what? This is kind of giving me. This is kind of giving me Hayati Blue vibes, which is a robot clone, right? Now, is that what it's called, robot? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have the little tester here. Oh, Phantom, Phantom, not robot. It is a robot. It's a Phantom. Yeah, it's kind of giving me these Phantom vibes. What, what was the funny note in here? Woody vanilla creamy lavender. Yeah, maybe. I wonder if there's creamy lavender in this. Huh? Yeah. This is actually, yeah, this is giving me Amalaki vibes. When this first came out and people were describing it, I actually thought it was going to be a rebottled Kayad Al Fusan white. The way people were describing it, I was like, oh, maybe they didn't sell enough of these and they had a bunch of the juice left over. So they just repurposed it in uh, the Assad bottle because everybody likes Assad, but uh, no one seemed to buy this one. But no, it's definitely not like this. Yeah, it, it is way more like Hayati Blue. It is way more like Hayati Blue, which is way more like Phantom. It's interesting. I'm not like in love, but I do like it. Like the first blast I did like, I did like. All right, let's check out some of the notes right here. Oh, like always, while I look up these notes, can you guys hit that like button? I appreciate you so much. I love you, thank you. Vanilla, iris, powdery, lavender. Yeah, there's that lavender right near the top there with the iris and the powder. Yeah, fresh, spicy, salty, violet, balsamic, earthy, and amber. Huh, 2024, nose behind it, fanny ball. Fanny ball? Did Fanny ball just win a gold medal? 
Or that was Femke Ball or something. I'm like, my mind's all over the place. Too all this, so much stuff going on right now. <laughs> top notes are lavender. Yeah, exactly, lavender. 100% that lavender's coming through on that top note. Did I not say that? Did I not say that? I'm getting a little better at this, guys. I think, I think I'm getting a little better at this. I think so. Black pepper. Okay, maybe. Interesting. Middle notes are coconut water. Yeah, I'm buying that. Iris and salt. Vanilla and incense. Hold on, man. Yeah, I'm kind of buying all that, but like, I don't know. I don't know. I like it, but I don't love it. It's got a funny little, funny little feeling to it. That coconut water, I said oat milk, right? Yeah, it's that, that, that coconut water. I think that's that vibe I was getting. That, like that coconut's coming off more like oaty to me or something like that. Maybe that's just me because I drink a lot of that oatly in my coffee. That stuff's addictive. Don't you, don't, d d not sponsor. Do not buy that shit. I'm, t I'm telling you not to buy that oatly. Don't buy it. Don't buy that barista edition oatly because it is too delicious and it's flipping expensive and you'll be buying it all the time after. <laughs> so don't buy it. <laughs> it's nice. Hold on. I, I want to see what my wife thinks. Hold on. Hold on. I I'm going to give it another spray. I'm going to give it another spray right here. You know what? I, I want to go see what my wife thinks. I'm curious to what she thinks it smells like. Hold on. What do you think it smells mm. like? Smell it. You like it? She's got coconut water in her mouth. I mean, what are the odds of that? There's coconut water in here. All right, she's spitting out the coconut water. You like it? I like it. What? It's sharp. Sharp? In what way? Like nothing I've smelled before. Like that? Yeah, it's interesting. You like it though? I like it. You do like it? For you or it's for me? It's fresh. Unisex. Unisex? All right. All right. Well, you heard it. She actually had... Coconut oil in her mouth. I made her spit it out so she could answer this. <laughs> First impression from my wife, she said nothing that she's smelled before smells like this. And I'm agreeing, except for that it, I feel like it kind of smells like phantom. I, I do, it's that lavender. There's something about that, that creamy lavender, creamy vanilla. There's something, they, they have some overlapping notes for sure. I, I'm surprised no one else has said that before. I'm really surprised that other people that have reviewed this fragrance have not said that. Like, guys, please, if you have both fragrances or if you have Hayati Blue, please confirm for me that I'm not going crazy because uh, I think these smell very similar. I think they do. Yeah, this is just smelling like some oatmeal on me or something. It's bizarre on my skin, even though my wife likes it on me. Well, I might just wear it. I might just wear it. I mean, it made her spit out the flipping coconut oil right there to answer, so... I guess she likes it, so maybe I'll be wearing it more, but hmm. I'm glad I waited till it was in the $20 range. If it was in the $40 range, I don't know if I'd be as happy. The fact that I got it in the $20 range and that she likes it, that's making me a little happier about it. Me personally, I think it's unique, but I don't know. I, I, got, I gotta gel with it a little bit more. I gotta wear it a bit more. I gotta see how it really settles on my skin and see how long it lasts. If it just fades in like 12 seconds or something, like whatever, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not really getting that sunscreeny vibe that people are saying. I'm getting like cardboard flipping oat milk or something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back to this one. In the air, I was liking it. On my skin, uh, uh, it's so-so, but my wife's liking it. So overall, well, I I'm happy I got it at a good price and it's here now. And I guess I gotta have these two silly bottles on the shelf together. Okay. Well, I hope you guys are good. I love you. Hit me with a like down below. Tell me your scent of the day down below. I'll see you on the Tribe app later. Say what's up to me in the fragrance chat. And I love you guys. Bye for now.